Well, it wasn't like we drew it up. Jack don't play the last 12 minutes, and we pull away to win by 20 without him. The SK goes one for 10 from three. Uh, have foul trouble, uh, but our guys found a way to win. It was for us the answer to that is defense and defensive rebounding. I told the guys I thought uh, Rutgers did a great job against the press in the first half. I told the guys at halftime that was my fault. They had all week to prepare. Uh, they're quick and athletic, and I knew that uh, Louisville had pressed them. They were going to mess with them a little bit, so they were going to spend all week, as they should, getting ready for the press. And uh, we should have just put, started off full court, man, and been solid. Uh, it caused us to get in a lot of scrambles. They had seven offensive rebounds and six layups in the first half, 20, uh, 20 points in the paint as well. So. That was my fault. I told the guys that at halftime and after the game. We just once we were able to keep the ball in front of us and make them shoot over us, it allowed us to have better defensive rebounding position. And obviously, you have a better chance to miss from 20 feet than you do from two feet. So, guys, but again, you guys stepped up through adversity, did a tremendous job. We didn't take care of the ball real well tonight. We got to get become a better passing team. But that's why we got practice. That's my job. What was the biggest difference defensively in those last 12 minutes? They had three points, no I just gave goals. you a long, long speech on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was, I gave the whole thing to you. <laughs> I don't have anything else. I will tell you this. Uh, Dave, you know, Dave's stat line's not great, but when you stand a seven-foot-one guy in front of the rim, it helps. You know, it's a lot easier for David to play zone than man-to-man. -man. Um, he does that, obviously, he, was, he sees the play coming at him, and he doesn't have to pivot turn, help, recover. Uh, so when it, it, it's just a, he's a lot more effective in his own. You know, a big part of coaching is, you know, you can complain about his man-to-man -man defense or you can realize, you know, he's seven foot one and don't ask him to do things he can't do. You know, a big part of coaching is don't ever ask guy to do something he can't do. So we try to put him in a position to succeed defensively. And, it, and you know, so it, it, he's standing in there now. It makes a big difference. How much of a lift did Troy give you tonight? I thought, you know, Troy's played extremely well. I don't know what happened to him at the foul line. Uh, he missed one so bad. I, I, I don't know what he, the guy's a great free throw shooter. He goes at SK every day and challenges him the free throw shooter. Um, and he's, he's still got to learn to uh, take care of the ball a little bit better. He still throws some high school passes, but he had some big shots. You know, making a shot, making shots is one thing, but I think that the, what shows you a lot about a guy is, uh, is when he makes a shot, and he, he made a he made a big three. We had missed about I don't know ten straight wide open ones, and then you know a lot of times at that point everybody's looking to hide. They don't want to be the next guy to shoot. And he, you know he, he showed a lot of uh, a lot of character, a lot of toughness, stepping up and knocking the one in that he that he knocked in at, at that moment when we had missed a bunch in a row. He said he had to, uh, when he got here, just in summer practice, he realized he couldn't drive the ball to the basket as much because he was getting blocked. And you guys told him he had to learn how to shoot. Uh, did he learn that fast? No, he could always shoot. He just didn't have to in high school. <laughs> he could always make shots, but uh, he, he's got, he had over 700 rebounds in high school. And he's still growing. You know, his mother's tall and he's a tall lady. He just turned 18. Uh, but it is a different game at this level. Just in general, as a team, we got to learn to drive the pass. We keep driving to, to score. We got to learn to drive the pass. That was the root of our turnovers. Tonight. Thank you. you like seeing that emotion out of Troy too. I mean, he showed that a couple of times. He seemed to really be into the game, and that was a big, a big part of his lift, maybe. Yeah, but I, I, that, that's everybody. You know. This team's real easy to coach. They, you, I learned this from my father a long time ago. And, and it's, whether it's high school or college. You got great seniors, coaching is easy. When your seniors care about winning more than they do about individual statistics, all this you, you become a really good coach. Any thoughts about your hundred and fiftieth win here, considering yeah. how things started? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot older. Anything besides that? <laughs> That's not a good thing. <laughs> I know I'm well aware of that. <laughs> I mean it's not you know, and I feel it too. Yeah. That's it. it you know, I, I, I hope they have a whole lot more of those here. 
SK said part of your message coming out wasn't the fact that you guys are four and zero in the league, but that you got seven more to go. Yeah. Is it just a constant pounding to them? You got to go undefeated at all. You want to look at leagues? You pick the, where we come from, the Big East. Pittsburgh won more games than anybody over a ten-year span in college basketball. I think they're maybe tied with Duke. It's because they never lost at home. When they had Sam Young and Devon Blair, Carl Krauser, uh, and Ben and Jamie built that program. Uh, when I was here with Coach Huggins, we won 11 conference championships at home. You, you, you rarely, rarely lost at home. Kansas has won every since Bill Self's been there. They won every conference championship. They don't lose. Look at their home record. Uh, if you want to win a league championship, you know, I was at Murray State. We won a league championship my last year, regular season. We did not lose at home. You cannot leave. That, that's the, if you were saying what's the key to winning a conference championship, regular season, don't lose at home. Uh, because it's, a, it's it, and then, you know, and then you get out on the road and your confidence is high. But, uh, you know, I thought this team uh, had a chance to do it. And it's just, you know, I've talked to them about it all year. And I told them we're not losing games at home. You know, we're not coming out flat. I hate that. You say, oh, they came out flat, not ready to play. I don't know how you couldn't be ready to play. I mean, what, what else you got to do? And this is what these guys all love to do. So I'm just trying to challenge them. I don't care who we're playing. We're, we will not lose at home. I don't care what we got to do. I don't care if we got to hold a team to 30. We're not losing at home. That's our, that's just, that's our goal. I, I truly believe that's the way to a conference championship in college basketball. Coach, these guys seem to have a mentality of, regardless of what happened in the first half, feeling out of the team, it, it's good, we'll be fine in the second half. Do you worry about that biting you guys at all, how well you're playing in the second half, that, that time to adjust in the first half? No, I worry about everything. <laughs> I worry about everything all the time. Uh, again, I thought the first half was more of a product of what we were trying to do defensively, not working. Uh, and Rutgers is big, strong, they're physical. But uh, you want to obviously you want to play great for 40 minutes, but we talk about being a second half team all the time, and the key is to make the right adjustments at halftime. You know, and the biggest thing is when you got you got your best player struggling from the three point line, never you don't talk about it. All we talk about is our defense and our defensive rebound, and, our, and, and rebounding in general, taking care of the ball, um, trying to get to the foul line, which we got to the foul line 40 times. So you just got to stay focused on execution. The most relevant thing on this whole stat sheet is the halftime screen. I know it's bad for your sanity, but it's important for the guys to pick up Justin and Sean on a night where they maybe weren't at the top oh, of the yeah, game. Oh, yeah, it's tremendous. You know, actually, it's, it's good for me because I sleep a lot better knowing that you can you win by 20. And, you know, SK obviously had a terrible night shooting the ball, and Justin got foul trouble. But I believe in those guys. I told you, I, you know, I believe in these guys. Some of these guys are just getting them to believe in themselves. But really, the answer for us is defense. You know, our goal is to be the best defensive team in the country. Right now, statistically, we're second. So, in points per possession, our goal is to get the first. Who's in first? St. Louis? Ohio State. Ohio State. That's, that's in the efficiency. Yeah. Not, not points per game. Right. Points per possession. Can't call them. I just assume St. Louis is always up there. Yeah, no, I'll stay. <laughs>